Let's play redactyl number 321 on Tuesday, February 21st, Shrove Tuesday, or Mardi Gras if you prefer. We have a six-letter title and then 5-7 in italics. Um, yeah, is that, is it a, an animal and that's the species name? Uh, 4666. R66 is a 9105 in the 612. 554674. And this 4 being a 6 4 for the 5 5. Yeah, I'm thinking it is some kind of creature. 6 is 6 to 7, and a 6, 5, and 9, 8. It is 5, 10 as a 4, 9, or 4. 11. So it's a 7, 10, 9, 5, about so many um, centimeters, I think, tall with five, yeah, three, four, into the, that's, I'm wondering, <laughs> excuse me, is it with wings or with limbs? That three, four, into the six, as well as five, five, and five dash six, and uh, I wonder if it's the the young something no in something uh, ten seven ten have been found have been named three three or ten. So yeah, definitely some kind of species. Yeah, we always see that single letter period and then seven. So what type of creature is it? Um, ooh, what's this? Eight, two, six. Uh, so something in French. Six eight six five. Is that maybe a French proverb that mentions this creature? In five, the six are four and five are something. In eleven, uh, mythology? No, the six are six. Mm, and then see also pretty short article 614 and then external links 57 to 57 at 97 and then 576 for a6 um yeah it's funny it's such a short article Maybe it's uh, more a family of creatures. That's right, family. Okay, no, it is in the family. Is a nine, ten, five. Um, so our nine and ten adjectives and then five is the noun the type of creature this is um i'm thinking of snake no not snake uh yeah let's maybe try a few things like bird reptile mammal um insect 
yeah, it's pretty small. Uh, I think this is that it is a something. So here we have is a seven ten nine five as opposed to nine ten five. About so many, I think, centimeters tall. And then double digit inches. Um, could it be a rodent? No. What type of creature? The five four R seven ten six six. Well, let's try maybe a uh, wing, um, leg, mm -hmm. a limb, how about the head, hmm, say, hmm, five, five, four, six, seven, seven, four, for being a something, a common name, who also called common six R six six. So what? Um, oh, maybe it's a plant. Ah, yes, why did I immediately think it was an animal? Uh, so a plant, okay, is a nine, ten plant in the family something. Yeah, now how tall it is makes more sense as a plant. Common six has been cultivated, maybe? The six are this, but seven with three. They may be something in five and six, or five to five. The plant has. I'm wondering if it's used in a salad, yeah, or something to salad. So, um, we've had a salad plant before. The most common something is 6-4. Here's the French thing, maybe. Um, eight, maybe du salad, uh, L apostrophe, six, eight, something in something <laughs> composed is an ten four. Of the six eight seven. Oh, was this uh, maybe cross breeding some variety of the plant? In the nine, the seven six eight four into five six is known as six, but this plant from seven six is something a blank. Okay. I'm thinking of um, one of those leafy vegetables called rocket. No, not that. Um, so lettuce, um, radish, 
Ooh, something happened there with my screen. Some of those letter words got a little broken up. I don't know if you noticed that. Um, so what type of plant is it? Uh, with five, uh, not leaves, with uh, maybe roots. Roots that something something into the ground. Well, don't. <laughs> nearly all roots go into the ground um, with roots that three, four uh, deep into the ground that run that run with roots that run deep into the ground. As well as five, five and five dash six, six, maybe leaves, um, green. Uh, no, we do have green and five dash six. Uh, maybe three dash something, no, uh, as well as five, five. What else would a plant have? Uh, a flower? Does it have a flower? One flower. In the something, the seven flower, eight, four into five, six is known as six. But I'm thinking that's a different plant. In general, the leaves are delicious, and six four are as an ten for seven five four five do d uh, there we have the d. leaves are edible. Edible uh, when, when something, but seven with three. The leaves are edible when uh, baked. Hmm. But seven with three. <laughs> I don't know. Um, they may be boiled. No, they may be something in water. They may be cooked. No, they may be six in five and six are added to salad. Common something. What leaves are used in salad? I'm not a salad eater, so nothing is coming immediately to mind, but I'm not close-minded. I associate with people who do eat salads. Um, also called common something. Uh, nettle. Don't some people put nettle leaves in salads? The seven is nine. The uh, we had roots. Let me just do root. No, no root. How about stalk? No. Um, but 
The leaves are something in length, I suppose, with four, eight, and a ten, five, six, of five, nine, eight. Hmm. Spinach, arugula, oh, salad greens, no, and then what is this seven dash green? Is that emerald green? No, of oh, maybe purplish. No, that's eight. Oh, but there we do have purplish. Uh, so something green and then maybe purplish. Oh, I'm envisioning something that can be purple. Ah, uh, like, do they call it Chinese something? Uh, oh my goodness. My lack of knowledge of vegetables is uh, coming back to bite me. Um, eight purplish, not sometimes purplish, or usually. It has seven, six, oh, maybe stalks, nope. Has seven, six. Does it have pods? No. Oh, my goodness. Uh, seven, ten, several. Several. It's not varieties, is only nine letters. Several. Uh, variations. No, have been found, have been named. Okay. All. Oh, uh, something all. Not all, not all are ten. Five, seven. I presume these are all going to be the same apart from the last word. And then twelve and seven. Uh, maybe something and culture. No, and uh, Cooking, um, to the five of that, and in parts of um, Eastern Asia, Western Asia, no parts, oh, Central Asia, to the North of eleven. Oh, from the European. No, uh, how about Europe? Okay. One seven. Oh, maybe occurs in nine eight ten Europe from the eight thirteen five to the north of. Uh, Scandinavia? Is it Scandinavia? Okay, Scandinavia, and in parts of Central Asia, it occurs as an 10-7 in parts of 3-7-9 and North America. It, um, no, 
had been it. No? Ah. Ah. The leaves are eaten by the um, something of several animals. No. Uh, several species of eleven, nine and four. as well as by non-11, 6, and 5. By the something of several species of 11, and then 9. Uh, food. I don't know. Common six has been um, harvested. Um, nutrition. The leaves are edible when um, when not when ripe when. Maybe six in five and six. Oh, soups. Aha, uh -huh. they may be. Hmm. Did I do cooked? No, I did, yep. Yeah. Uh, they may be something in soups and blank are added to salad. Oh, does it have a certain taste? Um has a eight five comma four taste. Is it a sour taste? Well then why are you eating it? I just don't understand that. So it has a eight five um it eight six four which may be oh I did that which can be nine in some in many, in most, the most common 11 is 6, 4, 5 the leaves are 10 and 6, oh I wonder if it's a slightly something taste um musty no um not sweet and sour no oh we do have sweet ah in the nine the seven flower eight uh turn into no into sweet something is known as six, but this plant from Western six, I did Europe, um, from Western is something, a, a type of, a kind of, nope. Oh boy. Ah. Uh, I, I didn't notice I had some other sours is used to make sour soups. Oh, um, well, I was thinking of beetroot. Or something. Throughout Eastern Europe, four or six six is used to make sour soups. Six with ten or five. Four or four. In five six it is used with seven five and five in eleven. 
Okay, what do you use to make sour soups? I'm thinking of uh, beetroot, um, is it used in a goulash? All right, six, also called common six. I think I'm going to do my uh, usual trick of just pausing, going through the alphabet A through Z and thinking of six letter plants that you may want to eat, um, the leaves of. Um, so just please stand by. Well, I went through as far as G. I tried fennel, no match, and then garlic. I know it, we don't eat the leaves, but um, we did have a match on garlic. So the most common 11 is 6 4. If I the leaves are something and something with all of these other things. And sour cream? No? Sour. Uh, sauce. Ooh, we do. Ooh, six, eight in some sauce. Well, I wonder if it could be eight to six a uh, l'anglais. No. Okay. Uh, six, eight in. Oh, did I do French? Okay, there we have two French. Is an ten four of the French uh, culinary? No, the French something something. French cuisine. Oh, of the French. Oh, um, national. No, French, um, provincial, or, um, there's some word maybe I'm thinking of. Anyway, French cuisine, 13, that's a long verb, 5, 4 with 6, because it's 7, 9, 4, 4, something very, no, much more, most, uh, I did these, um, because it's seven, no, eight, de six, uh, something or other. Uh, herb, aha, uh -huh, we have two herbs. Six is six to seven, and a common plan to nine eight. It is five of ten as a four nine. Our herb, our herb, and then down here. Oh, is it a uh, relative? No. Related. Ah, uh, five related to five seven. At nine seven. All right, I think I'm going to go back to the alphabet and pick up at H or H. All right, I actually went through the alphabet quickly, but threw in the towel, um, and so I googled it, and so I know the. I never tried spinach, by the way, and funnily enough, spinach does crop up. It's uh, another name for this, um, but it's actually sorrel, which I have, know the name sorrel, maybe vaguely aware it's a herb, but would never have uh, thought of that in a million years. Oh, I see that of the 26 games played so far, the mean guess count is 211. So if you got this quickly, if you know your herbs and your salad leaves uh, and so you got this without uh, 
Googling, then congratulations. There is a picture of it. Looks like a weed to me. Also called common or garden sorrel, perennial herbaceous, spinach dock and narrow-leaved dock. Oh yeah, we used to um, use dock leaves when we were young. If we got stung by a nettle, you would find a dock leaf and then rub that on. So I wonder if, yeah, so dock must be in the same family. Uh, slender, there's how tall it is. Whorled spikes of reddish green flowers becoming purplish. Species is di... Oh, I'm not even going to try that. Ecology uses... Uh, pureed. Uh, leaves are edible when young. Oh, I never thought of young. Toughen with age. Uh, oh, it can be poisonous in high quantities. In India, used in soups or curries. Afghanistan, Armenia. Uh, sour soups. Albania. And here is the French. Escalope de saumon à l'océ. Uh, invented in 1962. Ah, Nouvelle, ah, Nouvelle Cuisine. Should have thought of that. Alrighty, well, that was disappointing, but uh, I'm sure some of you will have known that, being frequent sorrel eaters. Alright, thank you as always for watching, and have a wonderful day.